Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you are doing great today. This is Said Hassan from Bixban. Welcome to part 3 of how we created this visual. So, and without further ado, let's get started. Now, let's move to the next layer here. This is fairly easy. Choose D layer double click next to the layer we have the layer style panel open let's add a drop shadow let's make sure the opacity is 70 percent distance is 18 spread 22 the size is 7 the color is darker and desaturated blue and let's hit ok to confirm now we want to clip this shadow to the body of the main subject how we can do this first of all we need to separate the layer style panel right click on the drop on the drop shadow from the layer panel let's hit create layer now we have the drop shadow as a separate layer try to be 100 percent sure of the look and the style of your drop shadow because when it is separated into a new layer any changes you will apply on this new drop shadow layer will be destructive now we want to make it clipped to the body of the main subject so let's click and drag the new layer and move it here now yes it is clipped to the main subject body okay now guys last letter will be the y choose the y layer as i've shown you before let's create new layer before the brush tool and start again brushing behind his knee to add some shadow to the letter yes i think we are going the right direction let's see before and after okay this is good the next step guys will be adding some motion blur to the main subject here how we can do this first of all you choose the main subject layer okay make sure it is a smart object if it's not smart object right click on the uh, empty area next to the layer convert it to the smart object we need to add some effects how we can do this go to filter blur gallery path blur okay guys the path blur can give us a motion blur but in a certain direction uh, however we choose it now first of all choose the first point move it here and the second point move it here now we have the blur in this direction but it's also on this direction how we can make it move in one direction from the path blur layer here change from basic blur to rear sync flash and you can make the speed is 100 percent the target is 25 is 20 percent and hit ok to confirm yes okay guys now it is all over the main character we want the motion blur to be at the edges of his body only how we can do this choose the smart filter mask here okay we want to invert it how we can invert it by hitting ctrl plus i now all the motion blur is gone or masked but we want to reveal some of it a bit how we can do this before the brush tool make sure the white color is in the foreground okay hold alt click and drag to make the brush a little bit bigger make sure the opacity is 50% the flow is 100% now let's start adding some blur yes we are doing it right yes we are adding motion blur to the edges of his body because we want the main face and main body of the subject to be fully visible and easy to look at not hard to look at okay now let's see before and after yes we are very going in the right direction we are almost done guys first of all let's change the text layer here color change from the this deep blue again i will show the hex code on the screen so you can copy it to a little bit darker gray yes again the work out layer make it 
the same color here yes and we are going in the right direction now let's group all this in one layer this channel is dedicated for junior designers who are looking for their first job or midway designers who are looking to learn new professional techniques to level up their skill set so make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned with all the new content i'm uploading three times a week now guys we grouped all the elements in the center in one group so we can move it scale it up and down all together now let's hit ctrl plus t to transform make it a little bit bigger center it in the canvas hit enter to confirm now guys we are almost done let's add some details to the background to make the visual pop up a little bit choose the solid color layer go to file place embedded okay choose the first image okay scale it a bit down hit enter to confirm change the blending mode to screen yes i think we are adding some motion blur and a little bit like here and there but the edges are visible we want to mask those edges let's create new mask before the brush tool make sure the foreground color is black scale it up a bit and let's brush the edges yes i think this is good let's add another one go to file place embedded choose the other one okay scale it down a little bit hit enter to confirm now we don't want to show the full area here first of all change the blending mode to screen okay we want to mask the whole layer here how we can do this hold alt click on the mask icon here now the we added a mask and it is inverted we want to show some of the layer at the center behind the main subject make sure the foreground color is white and the opacity is 50 percent maybe 30 percent this time and let's start adding some extra light to the background yes i think we are going in the right direction but i think it is a little bit small so let's choose this layer and the layer be below it Control plus t for transform make it a little bit bigger to occupy a little bit more space adding flares and right variation is a good way to grab the viewers eyes especially if this artwork is going to be displayed on social media platform you want something to grab the attention and force the viewer to stop scrolling now guys we are almost almost done let's add some contrast and make the visual pop up a little bit by using the camera row filter first of all we need to merge all those layer in a new layer how we can do this hold ctrl shift alt and e now we have a new merged layer here let's convert this layer to a smart object convert to smart object now we need to open the camera row filter hit the shortcut ctrl shift a yes we have the camera row filter here open first of all go to basic tab let's leave the exposure increase the contrast a bit increase the highlights highlights are good shadows maybe a little bit to the left whites are good blacks yes i think this is good now texture let's add three clarity let's add three dehaze let's add minus three vibrance let's add five saturation let's add minus five let's go to the effects panel let's add some grain maybe five is good the vignetting maybe minus 15 okay what we can do here also i think the detail sharpening maybe go to 50 and the noise reduction go to 5 okay i think this is enough for today let's hit ok now let's see before and after yes i think it's have a little bit more contrast and it's looking better and the focus and the attention of the viewer is more toward the center if you find this effect is too much easy way to work let's reduce the opacity a bit and you have the perfect balance between the two so let's see before and after yes i think this is good 
this is the end of our tutorial if you enjoyed this content please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel see you in the next video